Cool, hey guys, welcome back. Um, so yeah, in this video, we're gonna look at uh, downloading the circlet model. Um, it should be a really quick one. So yeah, um, we buy these circlips off the shop, so we should be able to download a model for them. And again, you know, we could draw this on our own, but if we download a model, we save a little bit of time and we also get an exact, an exact representation of the physical size of this part. Um, so we can see immediately if there's going to be any issues um, because we have the a model which exactly represents the real thing. So, cool. So the first thing I would do, uh, again, I'd go to United Fasteners or wherever you buy your circlips from. I'd look for the circlip that you're looking to buy. In this case, it's a 10 millimeter circlip we're looking for. And we can see that it adheres to the DIN DIN 471 standard. Uh, so a great website that I use is um, this part community website uh, for CAD models. Um, basically, I'll link this in the description. Um, you will need to create an account if you want to use it. But basically, 90% of all the models that I've ever needed uh, are on this website and you can download them for free. I think there's like a 50 downloads per day cap for that resets every day. So it's never been an issue. Uh, cool. So what I've done, um, I've found the specific circlip. So you can type in in this uh, thing here the the circlip um, so it's DIN 471 you can click enter on that and it will show you all the circlips I found a good uh, library here which I'll link um, in the description uh, that's got all the circlips for DIN 471 so you can see here we've got the shaft diameter so we'll go down to the 10 millimeter variant and we'll click on this one and we will update the preview here so we can see what we're looking at. So this is what it looks like. Uh, cool. And then we'll click on this formats button here. You can add different formats here. I've already uh, added in the SolidWorks uh, format. So when I click the CAD download button on any parts within this website, it's just going to download them for me in uh, a SolidWorks format, which is great. So I'm going to click the download button there and we'll just wait for this to download. And then we'll click on let's exit this click on the download button and we get our zip file open this up um, what I'll do I'll just extract these files and then we will find we have our circlip component in here so I'm just going to cut this I'm going to go to our suspension folders and I'm going to paste it in here and then before I bring it into the assembly I always like to rename um, my parts before I bring them into the assembly because renaming them later you can damage links and that kind of thing so it's good to just get the naming out the way and do it as soon as possible so I'm making this the fourth part within the upper link sub assembly I'm just going to call this I'm going to put the standard in first so I'm going to do DIN 471 and I'm going to go circlip circlip and then I'm going to go 10 and I'll click enter on that and then what we can do we can quickly open up our circlip model to check that we've got the correct one. Suspension, upper link, circlip. And you can see that we've brought our circlip model in and it's a great model. So what I will do just quickly here, I will do view and I will turn off um, origins just so that thing disappears. And then cool. When we do a control S to save it, it will say, do you want to convert it to the current version? And then we can click save. And then that's it. So that's our circlip model downloaded. Uh, and I'll link the links to that website in the description.